I would hear Ali DeCoste, senior forward here at Braintree High School. You started your, your career at Phillips. What made you decide to come back? Um, originally it was a back injury. I hurt my back like sophomore year. We decided with all like the doctor's appointments and finding out what's going on, it was best to come home and do everything with my mom from home. But then once I came back, I just I fit right in and I love being back. Certainly, you know, last year you had a good season. The expectations are very high with everyone back. Talk about how the season has gone so far. Yeah, with no seniors last year, like, we were all pretty hyped because we were going to have the same team, a couple additions, which have been really good. And going into every game, we just have the same mentality to, like, beat our record last year, just do better than last year because it's all the same girls. You're an excellent hockey player, but as of right now, you're not going to college to play hockey. You're going to Providence to play field hockey. What is it about field hockey that appeals to you? Um, I started playing it freshman year, so it was really new, and I just, on the field, like, I don't know, I like running too. I mean, skating as well, but just field hockey. It's very similar to hockey, so when I started playing, I picked it up pretty quick. I just, like, fell in love with playing it. As far as going to Providence, what was it about Providence that appealed to you? Um, the all-around feel of like the campus, it's just like very homey vibe and of course the coaches of the field hockey team and the team that I met were all like similar to me and very welcoming. Last question I'm going to ask is we don't know yet if this is the uh, last hurrah for you on the ice. Does it, if it is the last, does it make it more special you know, for you knowing that this could be the, your last go on the ice? Yes, it definitely does because if I don't play hockey in college, like this is my last time ever with a real team like competing for something like a championship or even just to run in a tournament. So it'll mean a lot with not just me, my teammates too, because I know a lot of us, this will be our last season playing hockey. And especially with the Womps, it makes it important. Hi, Danny Ventura, the Boston Herald. We're here at Karen Burchill, the head girls hockey coach at Braintree. So what makes Allie a special player? Um, I think she's just an all round athlete. I've watched her play lacrosse, I've watched her play field hockey, uh, you know, and ice hockey the same. Whenever she put a stick in her hand, whatever it is, she competes. She's, uh, her IQ of the game is off the charts. And, um, you know, it's very rarely that you get a, you know, a student athlete that possesses all those qualities. But she's a tremendous leader. And, you know, the confidence level. For a little girl that she is, she has the confidence of a whole team. It's amazing. Talk about what it's like to get her back after not having her the first two years. Uh, it's, it was a nice, uh, I've known Allie since she was a real little girl and I always joke around with her. Said she wanted to come back because she always wanted to play for me. But having her show up, has completed the uh, first line with Delia Lee and Abby Holland. Uh, it's made both those players better and it's the competitiveness between the three of them is just off the charts now. And but they finally figured it out if they work together as a threesome, they're going to put a lot of pucks in it, which they have already. I think, I think to date, Allie has 25 goals. The other two have 15 plus. Uh, it's, it's a pretty epic season. Great. Thanks so much. Thanks.